All right, guys, time to cut the grass. See some smoke there? Let's see what's going on with this thing. Okay guys, so I was cutting the grass. I got one lap done. And I got over there by the road. Way up there, of course. And it just stopped. It was like you pushed the clutch in. Now, I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's a belt issue, but let's see if we can find the problem. Up in here, I did see some smoke just now when I started it up for you. So, I think it may be a belt issue. But I've got to check it out and see first the belt is on I don't know if you can see that up in there the belt is on but there's another issue I noticed now these mowers with the hydrostatic transmission you can't push them unless you pull this out and then you can push it but if I put that back in I can still push it so something's going on so let me see what I can find out I don't know if if a shear pin sheared off in one of the axles I'm not sure but I'm gonna check it out let me get back with you all right guys what I have found out I think the transmission may have locked up, but I don't know why the wheels are turning, but something happened because up under here, up in there, I don't know, let's see if I can get you up in here so you can see what I'm talking about, but see that fan up in there and that pulley? That's what drives this transmission. It's automatic or hydrostatic, however you want to look at it. And I should be able to turn that, and I can't. It will not turn. So I think something locked up inside this differential here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to jack it up, but i got to wait till she gets home. The jack is in the truck. So i got to jack this up pull that rear end out of there and see what's going on with it so I'll be back with you okay guys I may have got lucky now I couldn't turn that pulley well, I had to break on but I did find another pulley that I think is the culprit it's called an idler pulley which if we got lucky we're talking 15 bucks opposed to and I may have one on that but as opposed to you know 150 bucks 200 whatever the case may be uh, I'm gonna try to get you in here the best I can so please bear with me there's a pulley right here and it's all it's all screwed up and ate up okay so I think that's the problem because it was locked up a second ago so let's try it again okay now see it's kind of it's locking up whenever it comes around and I think the belts chewed up too but right here damn it I'm trying to get you guys in here I don't know if you can see that or not but it's all it's all chewed up see so if that locks up 
it might be it might be just remnants of the belt but now I feel it it's part of the plastic so I think that may be the issue so let's try it and see if it, if it starts to move then I'll know that's the issue since I've got it unlocked uh, so let's see what happens now for the day so I'm gonna move this out of the way all right there's our issue we've got a bad pulley guys so that was a quick diagnosis of it so I'll do a video on changing the belt on that it's an LA 145 so, John Deere, so that's just a quick upload for you. I locked myself out of the house. Luckily, I got in, though. Uh, so, I did get in the house, dropped my glasses, bent them up, because I think I stepped on them. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Maybe this weekend I'll, because this grass is getting high. Look at it, guys. It's getting high. So, I'll show you guys how to change a belt and pulleys on that. I may just go ahead and replace them pulleys. Uh, I've been noticing here lately that one of them was making a little noise. I noticed it earlier. So I hosed the deck off. thought maybe there might have been a stick up in there. And then it didn't help it. And then when I got over there, that's when it, that's when it screwed up. So, there we go, guys. I'll show you how to do that in an upcoming video here real soon, maybe this weekend. Uh, let's have to see, but it's got to be done. If not, I mean, I can, that thing will run enough I can cut the yard with it. Doesn't cut great, but while I'm at it, I'm probably going to take the deck off of that thing, so we'll probably go ahead and sharpen the blades while we're at it. So I'll show you how to do that too. So I guess you can call this an update. On an upcoming video, I don't know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, gone for now. Bye-bye, guys.